All right, my fellow nerds, let's talk Zoom. Here's the truth. Most people use Zoom like it's 2020. We fire up a meeting, we mute ourselves, we share a screen, we do that awkward wave at the end, and then we're done. Zoom has evolved. It's not just that pandemic video app anymore. It's a full communication platform. And here's the kicker. Most people don't even scratch the surface of what it can do. So today I'm diving into seven Zoom features you probably are not using. And these aren't gimmicks. These are the kinds of things that make your boss think you're a productivity wizard. Or at least it'll allow you to stop scheduling yet another meeting, another Zoom meeting that says, hey, quick sync or catch up. Don't do that anymore. So stick with me because by the end, I promise you'll be using Zoom in ways that make you wonder how you ever survive without them. So let's start with Zoom clips. We've all been in this situation. You need to explain something that takes two minutes, but instead you end up having to schedule a half hour meeting. You send the invite, they reschedule, you reschedule again. And before you know it, the problem is old news. Zoom clips solves all of that. One button, record a quick video and captions, trim the fluff, share the link, done. I've seen sales teams use clips for handoffs between reps, marketing teams using them for, for campaign updates. Heck, I even use them when I just don't feel like typing out a wall of text. So instead of a meeting, you just drop a Zoom clip. People watch it on their own time. You keep their sanity. It's like voicemail for the 21st century, except people actually like it and actually watch it. Next up, the brain of Zoom, AI companion. Think about how much time you waste in meetings taking notes, or worse, sitting through meetings where you barely needed to be there. AI Companion fixes that. It automatically generates meeting summaries, highlights, even action items. You can literally ask AI Companion, hey, I wasn't paying attention the first 10 minutes. What decisions were made that affect me? And it'll literally pull it up. Now here's the story. I worked with a law firm that hated recorded meetings, like too risky, too much data, sitting around doing nothing, but they still needed to track action items. AI Companion gave them the ability to get summaries without keeping a raw recording that could be subpoenaed later. So here's my question for you. If you could skip every meeting and just get the highlights, would you? Because what AI Companion can do is not just science fiction anymore. Okay, this next one's subtle, but genius. Present sync with Microsoft Teams, Outlook, and Office 365. So picture this. You're in a Zoom call, deep in discussion. But in Teams, your status says, available. So your coworker pings you. Your boss invites you to a meeting. Your coworker invites you to a chat. And suddenly, you're the jerk ignoring everyone in the Zoom meeting. So Zoom's bi-directional presence solves that. It updates your Microsoft status automatically when you're in Zoom. For hybrid shops like law firms or hospitals or financial services, where Teams is for chat but Zoom is for meetings, this is a lifesaver. It's not flashy, but it's the difference between smooth communication and total chaos. All right, next, let's talk Zoom phone texting. Everyone knows Zoom phone replaces your desk phone, but did you know it can also send SMS and MMS messages right inside the app? That means you can just text customers, confirm appointments, send updates, all without giving out your personal phone number. All right, let's role play. Your realtor. Instead of juggling your cell or your email and your office line, you just text a client from your Zoom phone number that says, hey, have a showing at 2 p.m. Here's the address. Done. Professional, traceable, and part of your company's communication system. This one's huge for small businesses, salons, clinics, law practices, anyone who wants that personal touch without mixing work with personal phone numbers. All right, now for my favorite collaboration tool, Zoom whiteboards. Most people think of Zoom as, as screen sharing and video calls, but with whiteboards, you get a digital canvas that lives beyond the meeting. You can brainstorm and, and map out customer journeys, assign sticky notes, and the best part, when the call ends, the whiteboard doesn't disappear. You can reopen it next week, next month, keep iterating on it, keep brainstorming on it. It's a whiteboard. Think Miro or Mural, but inside of Zoom. For hybrid teams, this is a godsend. You can walk into a Zoom room with a touchscreen and it feels like you're writing on glass. And remote folks see it instantly. No extra logins, no friction. It's the closest I've been to real collaboration without being in the same room. That's Zoom whiteboards. All right, next one, let's be honest, nobody watches the full meeting recordings. They're a graveyard of good intentions. No one watches them. It's okay. We have a solution. 
Zoom fixes this with AI highlights and smart chapters. Instead of scrubbing through an hour long video, Zoom breaks it into bite-sized chunks like budgeting review, market update, business decisions. A friend of mine in HR said this literally saved them hours. Instead of re-watching interviews, they could jump straight to the key questions. So yeah, if you're the kind of person who skips to the good parts on Netflix, this one's for you. And finally, the newest kid on the block, Zoom Docs. This isn't just another Google Docs clone. It's designed to live inside your workflow. Imagine drafting meeting notes while the AI companion suggests edits based on what you just said in a meeting or linking directly to a recording from your doc. So context is always just one click away. But here's my bold prediction. Zoom Docs could become the knowledge hub for teams that already live in Zoom. So instead of scattering files across SharePoint, Google Drive, or Dropbox, everything connects back to your communication layer. If Zoom nails this one, it's gonna be a game changer. So there you have it, seven secret Zoom features hiding in plain sight. Most people are only using about 20% of what Zoom can actually do. I actually just made that number up. And what's wild to me, because these features can literally replace extra tools, cut down meeting overload, and make you look like the smartest person in the room. So here's my challenge to you. Pick one of these features and actually try it. This week, like this week, clips, AI companion, whiteboard, just, just pick one. Then come back here and tell me in the comments what happened. And hey, if you found this video useful, hit that subscribe button in YouTube or follow me on LinkedIn. I've got plenty more nerdy deep dives coming. Until the next time, stay sharp, stay curious, and stay nerdy. I'm Patrick Kelly, the Tattooed Nerd.